Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Wendy and today we'll be doing a fun little experiment with these Skoda Ultimo brushes. We're going to be testing the water retention capability of the size 10 round, size 10 mop and the size 2 rigger brushes. To do this, I'm going to be painting a continuous line with these brushes without reloading until the paint runs out. Once I reach the end of the page, I'm going to have to continue the line straight underneath the line that I just painted and repeat this until I run out of paint. First up, we're testing the size 10 round brush. So for this experiment, the pressure that I'm applying while painting these lines is going to be consistent with how I normally use brushes of this size. And I'm going to be doing the same across all of the three brushes. This size 10 round brush was able to draw a solid continuous line up to about 65 centimeters, And then from there on, you're pretty much getting more of a dry brushed effect as it starts to run out of paint until it eventually cannot deposit any more paint um, at about 125 centimeters. So next we have the size 10 mop brush. Now this is the smallest mop brush from Skoda Ultimo. And what I'm about to say next is not really the purpose of this video, but I'm going to say it anyway because I just can't help but notice from my experience that this size 10 mop basically can do everything that the size 10 round can plus more because it has a larger belly so it holds more water naturally and also ironically comes to a pointier tip compared to the size 10 round. So personally for me this is kind of a no-brainer as to which brush I choose if I could only have one. But again, this is not really a comparison video and um, just something that I wanted to leave as a passing comment. So lastly we have the size 2 rigger brush. Now this is actually the very first rigger brush I have ever owned so I didn't really have a benchmark or an expectation as to how much water these rigger brushes usually hold but I want to say that I'm so impressed and surprised at how much water this little tiny thin brush was able to hold and deposit. Maybe I'm just not familiar with rigger brushes so let me know in the comments below if you own a rigger brush and it can paint a line as long as this but to me this is very surprising for such a tiny little brush. So before I show you the results of all three brushes, I want to reiterate that the purpose of this experiment was to test the water retention properties of the synthetic squirrel brushes and for me personally, I feel like they have really excelled in that aspect based on the long lines I've been able to paint without reloading the brush. But of course I'll let you make up your own mind as well once you see the results right now and let me know in the comments below if there's another brush that you would like me to do a similar experiment with and I'll talk to you very soon in the next video. Bye! Bye.